What's up, everybody? Nathan Firth here with New Rocket. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at ServiceNow's Employee Center and how and why you should consider migrating your portal from Service Portal over to Employee Center. We'll also take a look at some of the differences, some things you should consider, as well as the additional benefits you can get with Employee Center Pro. And if you stick around to the end, I will show you some examples of what's possible with Employee Center. As usual, if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. So before we begin, I think it would be helpful to take a deeper dive into Service Portal and understand what it is and how it differs from Employee Center. As some of you know, I was one of the lead developers at ServiceNow working on Service Portal, so this is a product that I'm very intimately familiar with. So first off, at its core, Service Portal is a framework for building UIs on top of ServiceNow. It's not a portal, although it does ship with a demo portal, but you can build all sorts of applications and UIs on top of it, so it's not just limited to portals. It also ships with over 200 widgets and includes a widget editor for creating and editing widgets, and the designer for creating pages and editing layouts. But the main drawback is that the demo portal is pretty limited, and if you wish to use it beyond just a single department, it will require creating lots of custom widgets. Now, Employee Center is a portal with a new theme built on top of the Service Portal framework, but it adds a lot of new features and widgets, including a mega menu, dynamic topic pages, AI search, but the main benefit is that it offers a unified taxonomy for all content types across departments. But the majority of the cool stuff is available in Employee Center Pro, which is a licensed application and only available via the ServiceNow store. But with it, you also get additional features like content experiences, content publishing, enterprise search, and employee communities with people directory, news, and events. If you're not familiar with the content experiences and publishing in Employee Center Pro, it's pretty much a game changer, but not something I'll have time to cover in this video, so please stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. All right, so what is required for migrating to Employee Center? Well, before we can answer that, it would be very helpful to answer the following questions. What are the needs of our users and why would they come to the portal? What are the organizational goals? Meaning, what are we trying to accomplish? What are the features that we would like to include on the portal? And what's the content that we would like to publish and who will be authoring that content? And what's the company branding guidelines and how might that impact the look and feel of the portal? And finally, if you already have a portal on ServiceNow, how effective is it at meeting the needs of your employees today? If you already have a great portal, migrating to Employee Center could be as simple as incorporating some of the widgets and features onto your existing pages. Because, after all, Employee Center is built on top of Service Portal. You could also just swap out some of your old pages with some of the Employee Center pages. For example, using a route map to redirect users to the new ticket page. You'll want to spend some time to think through the unified taxonomy using dynamic topic pages instead of the catalog and knowledge categories from Service Portal. Now, the cleanest path to Employee Center might be to just start with the out-of-box portal and customize it to meet your needs. From a branding standpoint, you can still set some of the basic theme options using the branding editor, which will allow you to change the logo and some of the base colors. But more than likely, you will need to edit the theme style sheet if you want the portal to align with your company's branding guidelines. But for many of the clients that we work with, we choose to start with a content and design first approach. As part of this, we'll conduct user research and testing and then iterate over wireframes and mockups to ensure that the portal isn't just on brand, but will ultimately meet the needs of the users and accomplish the organizational goals. Once the design is complete, we can start implementing the portal. If the design is significantly different, we encourage developing it as a new scoped application instead of making changes directly to the portal. And we also recommend using all of the out-of-box widgets and not cloning them to reduce conflicts and ensure seamless upgrades in the future. 
And finally, I wanted to show you some examples of what a fully branded employee center portal can look like. Many of these portals have replaced old legacy intranets running on systems like SharePoint. But now, with a modern digital workplace experience powered by ServiceNow, the platform of action. If you have any questions, or if you'd be interested in learning more about what it takes to implement an extraordinary user experience using Employee Center, I've opened up some limited time slots over the next few weeks. So if you'd like to meet with me, you can find the link in the description below. And there you have it. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And until next time, I'm Nathan Firth, and thanks for watching.